Hello YouTube! Welcome to the DVT Air Show. Star Fox Adventures Let's Play Part 3. Last episode, we met the mighty Warpstone and his Scottish voice. He's Scottish! That anyway! Was, that was supposed to be a Scottish accent. <laughs> well, in Scotland we talk like this, which is often like how Shrek talks. I've come to play, donkey! I sincerely apologise <laughs> to any Scottish people watching. I'm a terrible, but it, but let's but let's face it, British uh, accents of the British Isles are fantastic to do. You, there's experimentation with your voice, don't you know? Foreboding music. Oh good, lunch. Lunch has arrived. And club. He's a child. It's dead. Oh no, it's not dead. Huh? Yeah, if only you'd helped. We can. If only you'd helped sooner, because they it were literally... Not, it is not too late. Barely 20 feet away from you. It is not too late. Anyway... Something something has been... That's been uh, in the back of my mind. You said this was used to be like a, a completely new IP from Rare. Yeah. And... I've been, th I've been thinking about, about that, and I think... If they actually did that... Then this entire game would probably have gone the same way as Jet Force Gemini. Yeah. Which is, which is why I asked you about that game's name in the interim. So, for those of you who don't know, Jet Force Gemini is is like a it's a three D adve uh, action adventure game, pretty much a lot like this. It's a third person shooter adventure game. Sorry. But yeah. Show me twenty scarabs. And I'll give you a cheat No, token. I will be back. But yeah, it's a, it's a very, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a right game. I know it's like my cup of tea, but have you played it? it? Yeah, I have. When? Well, you got it. You tried to show it to me. Oh, all right. And I realised, nah, that's not really my thing. But it's very obscure, mm. and I can't help but think that this game would have gone the same way if they hadn't thrown uh, Star Fox in there. Yeah, that was one of the um, concerns or worries. <sighs> anyway, I'll grab some more scarabs. Hey, how the hell can you get 20 scarabs? Give that guy 20 scarabs if you can only carry 10. Um, we shall get what more... We shall get a bigger scarab bag later in the game. Anyway, let's um, find where we need to go. I think the first thing you need to do is stop that cannon from shooting shit at you. Yep, that is our objective and our puzzle. Walk up to it, shoot back. Yeah. That's your cheat token, guy. One second, I'm just looking this out. Try standing in front of the wall so the cannonball hits it. Closer to the wall, maybe. Like, you know, the actual wall. No, go on, keep going. Stay there. No. Oh. So it can't hit, it can't see you. If it can't see you, it can't hit you. Alright. Yeah. Can you shoot it with your fireball? No. Of course you can. Not the cannon. No. All right, strategy guide it is then. No, I know what I'm doing. I think. Go on. I'm gonna go back and see if there's anything I've uh, missed. Um, according to the map, there is some uh, bombs nearby. Over there, yeah. Ha. To, to the left. There you go. Ow! I didn't, I didn't mean belt kick the thing. Time bombs. Be extremely careful. You have about ten seconds till they detonate. Uh. 
There we go. Problem solved. Oi! Is this a one combo game? No! I can see a combo there. My, that was my. Yeah, multiple combos. Well, uh, for some reason, killing those two made a button appear. Yeah. Woot. There are multiple combos which you can perform, uh, but the basic combo that you'll learn is one of the most effective combos. So, uh, why are we doing all this first? Kantatina <laughs> first, stop hitting me! Hey, scale face, pick on someone your own size. Niak, Nich Kiak. I am Fox McCloud, lead pilot of the Star Fox so team. I, who? I've come to take the prince back to his home. <laughs> hey, wait! You just got a mace to the face. All right, let's get on this thing. Yay. I'm a driving. I'm a, dri I'm a driving this hover jet ski thing. It. Jet ski. A button makes goes faster. B is brake. And all stick moves. Tutorial over. Ram. There is no way on earth the dinosaur could have gotten away this far this fast. If you can get in front of them, you can multiple hit them. All right. <laughs> well, or you could just wedge them in the there we go doorway. That is the best way to do this, viewers. That is the, that is from a master of this game. No, I did not get lucky. I literally planned that. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I did. So where's the dinosaur then? You have to get to the end of the course first. Oh, you literally did just kill just kill them right at the start of the course. Yep. And now you got to go through the entire course on your own. Yep. So what have you been playing this week? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate! Oh. I guess. And also Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Can you elaborate on any of them? Yeah, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is... It's, it's good. Smash Bros Ultimate, good so far. And you're an idiot. We'll land on him and kill him. You two are dead. They appear no matter what. Yeah. What? I, I can't understand you. Sizbu at Uhat Spring, or you'd be frozen by now. <laughs> Why, you little hair, hey, wouldn't if I were you? My dad's a king earthwalker, and he'll bash you. That's up. the prince, isn't it? I don't think he'll be doing any bashing. He's, He's been dead. Captured. That's why I've been sent to rescue you. He's been captured? That's right. It was your mother that sent me to find you. Is she okay? Well, she was collapsed in a cave, but. She'll she was stricken with grief, her son had been kidnapped, her, her husband was gone! Anyway, introducing Prince Tricky! Another beta element! Prince Tricky was originally Saber's partner! He's gonna be a fucking sidekick, isn't he? He is our sidekick for the entire game! Oh god! Get used to this guy! His favourite food is mushrooms! Let's get this little kid high as high! Uh. We got the comedy sidekick. Why? He is useful. So would a gun. A gun would be very, very useful. We have a bow staff. These are grub tubs. These are tricky favorite food. They're they, asleep. They are sentient mushrooms. Hit them with your staff twice, and they will die. And you can, <laughs> you can use them to hold up the corpse of this creature, like this sentient creature I just killed. Oi! Eat. Food. Look at 
this? Okay, we're going to we're going to learn our first command now for Tricky. Our first two commands to be exact. Attack. We, we have find secrets oh. and we have also kill. And we have also stay. Oh. We will learn attacks later. You don't need another attack. You just turn to stay and walk away. Go find, go find, go find his, go find his mother. You stay here. Fine, fine. And that's it. That's it. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Using commands will consume mushrooms. One command, one mushroom. Okay. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a button. Okay. It is a button. We have pushed the button. Oh, button is a pressure pad. Stay. Well. Yeah, sit on button, stay on button. Stay. Good boy. Do you need to... Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Good boy. It's a dinosaur, shut up. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it behaves very dog-like, to be honest. Why? It's a... Stay. It's a sentient creature. It, it's intelligent enough. It doesn't... What? Why does it need to act like a dog? Why do you need to give it treats? Just, what's wrong with, you know, do this or we're sort of stuck here? We 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 speak the language. Adam, we are building a relationship with a creature. You know, let's, let's just enjoy this moment. Bring back Crystal. <laughs> I'm not a furry, but, you know, I would. Oh my! Oh my! I take it Tricky's not going to follow you. He does follow. He sort of teleports in. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> I I, I want to say lazy game design or uh, or just convenience. I go for convenience. Oh, I like to, to point out you're being outsmarted by a mushroom. It's dead. You heathen. Find. Did you really need find or something? Dig or something? No, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just nitpicking now. Do I not apologize. question the powers of the find command. I'm just, I'm just nitpicking. Sorry. So I've, I've, I think I've actually gone sane as far as this game's concerned. I've actually sort of accepted the fact that. Dinosaurs and weird shit is gonna just—it's just gonna happen. So I may as well just accept oh, it. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh god. <laughs> it, 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 there's some more things for your brain to accept. Oi! You know what'd be good right now? A gun. All right. Yeah. Happy now? Yeah, you can't use. Oh, you can't use a gun on this mission, Star Fox. You'll have to use the magic staff, which launches fireballs. What you mean, a gun? <coughs> uh, it's just that's just a rifle by any other name. You know what I mean? Oi! Your, your, your sidekick's abandoning you, mate. What the fuck? Uh, j j okay, uh, j sandworm, sure. Why not? You have a strategy right in front of you. These things have names. Do they? Um. Yeah, it does have a name, but um. Uh, it why? A snip look. Yep. A snipe look. Leave him alone! Three against one is not fair. If, if you're gonna do that sort of thing, one at a time. You only take one dinosaur at a time. You get any AoE spells? Oh, you're, you're hitting! Tricky, are you crazy? 
Just leave the sharp claws to me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Hey, Fox, if ever you need me to come back, you just use my heal command, and I'll be right with you. Oh, okay? you're, you're... We have learned our next, uh, our next command, the heal command. Oh, how about you're a conscious creature? How about I just say, come back? We speak the same. I don't need to give you commands. Adam. Yes. It's... It makes the game simple for the player to understand. It would be simple to understand if he was a mindless animal. You know, just a, 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 a friendly animal companion, like a dog. You don't need the commands and the treats when we're dealing with, you know, a, a, a sentient, talking, intelligent creature. I think we do need to feed him. Well, yeah, of course you need to feed him. There we go. That intelligent, it should be able to feed himself. There's a mammoth over there. <laughs> anyway, introducing a mammoth. Nope, they have a name. Really? Yep. The um, manual that uh, that is that is photocopied. Oh uh, yeah, the photocopied manual with the weird ass one single staple in the middle of it. So I got to yeah. I believe they're called snow horns or snow walkers. Oh, you could uh, the snow the snow horns. Okay. The snow horn is asleep. You could have just talked to it. I can't. It's asleep. Oh. So, I'm going to do something else. My controller is vibrating. That means there's something around that I need to find. I'm going to press this button. Find. Find. Yeah, I would like to point out that this this uh, this manual does have pictures of Falco in here. And I can't Later really game. Okay. Drop Sorry. down here. You shall find a secret. We are now going to upgrade our staff once more. By the power of fox titties. That's my line. I still have no idea what I'm doing. Our energy meter has been extended. Yes, I noticed the fox boobs and my meter extended. Yes, that's what I call it now. I shall make these jokes insufferably because I just... I, ne I need some kind of grounding thing, okay? Boobs are something I understand. Talking dinosaurs and r mushrooms that run away from you. I'm, just... I'm too hungry to talk. Oh, sorry about that. I, these West Country mammoths. Anyway, we uh, need to find some food. Uh, we're too hungry to talk to strangers over in the prehistoric West Country. When was the last time a mammoth walked through Bristol? I say it were last week. Wow, we didn't need that. We don't need the help. Fine. Looking at it. We're looking at it. Ooh, haha! -ha, a new thing. We have found something. It's a turnip. An alpine root. I'm gonna call it a turnip. It's a mouldy turnip. Adam, this is advanced culture. You must um, embrace it. This is an alpine root, not a, not your run-of-the-mill turnip. I've got I've got heartburn Fine. now. <laughs> mouldy turnips are giving me heartburn. I'm not sure I'm gonna obtain more mushrooms. Good luck with that. There we go. Is this a thing? Yes. Everyone needs a mushroom now. Fine. Um. Have you lost something? Uh, one moment. There we go. Do you have to go through this animation every time you give him a mushroom? Yes. Oh good, you gave him loads, gotcha. Yeah, if you, it will automatically fill his, fill his level up to the, amount, to the max amount of mushrooms that you can actually dispense at that time. Good. Anyway, let's go feed the mighty mammoth. What are we feeding the mighty mammoth? Alpine roots. Oh, that's I'm too hungry to talk to strangers. Okay. How about these? Uh, 
that tech should have battered his face off with the, the horn. That's better. I tell you what, young'un, I'll help you out. Here you are, my boy. This is a scarab. Bag. It's a wallet, don't you know? By collecting scarabs, you'll be able to buy many useful items. Oh, shit. We already know this. Oh, another one. Yay! Another Zelda thing. I'll just levitate this bag in front of me. We can now carry 50 scarabs. Oi! Oi! It's night time. I'm not sleeping? done with you! It's night time. He's asleep again. Notice me! Mammoth Senpai. I can't play with you. I don't have a command yet. What does that do? You can play with Tricky. I don't want to know. Sorry I asked. It's called Fetch. So it's a very common game that you play with animals. Yeah, with animals. Not intelligent, talking, you know, sentient creatures. You're just going to keep talking about this, aren't you? You're never going to let it go. It just... It just, it just contrivance. That's it. It's, it's like... Why are we doing this? Because he used to be a... Because in the beta he was a dog and we didn't bother changing it. No, he wasn't it. a dog. In the beta he was still a dinosaur. Yeah, probably Yeah, probably not the kind of dinosaur that spoke to you. No, he spoke. Ugh. It makes even less sense then. In the beta he was just um, Saber's partner instead of Fox's partner. Since Saber is not a thing anymore... Well... I'm gonna get my phone out and have a look at this saber thing. Let's see, let's see what let's see what he looked like. Well, let me button on pocket. Why do you dis disgrace me? Yeah, well, I'll show you that. I'm gonna search for more scarabs. Okay, so Star Fox Adventures saber. I think my phone crashed. I think it's actually crashed my phone. What the hell? The computer, right? No, yeah, you're using that. Don't, 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 don't touch the thing. No, no idea what will happen. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. You killed your PC. How dare you? Okay. Star Fox. Adventures. Come on, come on. Try tapping Dinosaur Planet. Saber. Or Star Fox Adventures Beta. Dinosaur Planet Saber. Aha! I got him! He's, 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 he's Link! Yeah, he's very fox-like. Anyway, it is morning. So now we can feed the mammoth once more. That is... That is just Link! With a fox head! Eat. Apparently, in apparently in the beta, Crystal actually wore some clothes. Yeah, she's a little bit more um, clothed. Anyway, in fact, she looks like an adventurer. That's something I could. Have... Anyway, by giving in the food, we now have a brick to push around. Block pushing puzzles. This actually, this actually really decent characters. Like, why the hell did they get? The hell to get rid of them? I think I've actually slowly, slowly. Yeah, I'm reaching the furry section. Just gonna turn that off. Thank you. Yep. The the, the creepiness was a be beginning to set in. You can move the brick in any direction you want. Well, four directions. Uh, may I suggest that you push any direction you want, as long as you want forward, back, left, and right. <laughs> may I suggest that you push the thing rather than pulling it? Pushing it is faster than pulling. That explains my love life. I'm trying to figure out what you meant by that, but okay. I'll let it sink in. Okay, That's she... what she said! Ugh. Okay, so you got a couple of blue balls up there. It just gets worse, doesn't it? Are they supposed to interact with each other like that? Yep. More fuel cells. We now have six of them! And how far does that get you? Um, well, we, we're going with my 
back to Great Fox and and to the um and to Fonda Hall at this point in the game, so we're fine for for fuel. All right. So either way, it's not a big deal. Yep. Anyway, now we need to move the um, brick over there. We over here was to get more fuel cells. In some ways, these controls are better than Zelda's because you can push the brick in any direction you want from any side, whereas in Zelda you have to go away all the way around. But this pulling animation is definitely slower than the new animation. I can tell from these, these, this beta like footage stuff that yeah, the graphics, the graphics that we got are far better than like the graphics. We we should have got, should I say? Um, look, find the Nintendo 64 version. Oh, it's Nintendo 64 version. No, that's GameCube. That's Nintendo 64. That's definitely Nintendo 64 oh, graphics. Oh, yeah, it that's, is. That's yeah, yeah, it is. But just the find one. a better picture. Cause put it this way. There you go. That, yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that's that. That's not get. That's not GameCube. That's, well, the game you made in 64 were both very similar in terms of development. That's why this game was so e easily ported. Well, that's 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 definitely N64 yeah. graphics. Well, yeah, but my point is, if you for the Nintendo 64, this thing looks fantastic. You know, this is you know, that's the peak of what it could do. You well, know, it'd, be, it'd be a definitely a high-end uh, N64 game. It'll be yeah. it'll be very impressive. Yeah, if you don't know what guys, if you don't know what we're looking at, I'm, I'm, look, I'm all I did was type type in, um, I, I typed in dinosaur planet saber. That's that's it. That's all I've all I've done and gone to the images on Google Google Images, and I've got this. There are videos online where you can watch gameplay of this game. It's actually an hour long video, an hour, which shows like the first ooh, half an hour of the game, and it's yeah, it just has it's just good. I say, some of these character designs are pretty good. I'm not entirely sure which one. I, can't, I don't know which ones are like like concept art and which ones like deviant art. But de some. Um. Well, that's deviant art. Yeah, def def that's concept. Oh. Uh, cold water. You will slowly die. Do not stay in too long. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, the other problem is with the uh, like Google image search. The further the further down the list you get, the the creepier things become. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, yep. I found a picture of a, a, be a beta crystal here with coconuts over a tit. That's nice. That's just yeah. That that, that just explains the internet in general, doesn't it? What a sad day. My golden root has been oh, stolen. No. All right, we'll find it. It's a. We'll get it back to you. You find my golden roof, Hermie. I seem to have lost it. We miss West Country Mammoth, don't you know? Out of out of interest, are the voices in this game supposed to be like regional dialects through the United Kingdom? What was was that was that a thing? Because I can't I can't ever think that you know, that's not something that the, the, the Japanese would have. Had in mind. This was a, a, a British development developed game. Developed. Is Railway British? Yeah. Holy shit, I didn't know. Okay. Activate that. Which... I've got to confess, that would explain a lot. I am the great mighty Pooh, and I'm gonna throw oh, no. my shit at yo. Yo. <laughs> more, more. Oh, Soprano! That was that, that was that was an experience. A, a vomit-inducing one, but an experience nonetheless. Well, one of the staff was actually an opera singer, so he sung that for us. <laughs> oh. I don't know if his talents were put to the, put, put to the best use, but it was funny. I, I gotta, I gotta. I have never played that game all the way through. I've only like, a, a, I've only like seen you play it occasionally. 
But yeah, just we found a thing. We found a th oh yes, okay, we got. We're using the bath <laughs> damp. Bath dad. This thing is a fairy. If you die, it shall restore all your health. You can carry one at the moment. Later in the game, we're to carry more. It's no be squirrel. You're going to get resurrected by an obese squirrel. Yes. I want to see that. Yeah. Die. No! I'm not just dying for your amusement. You shall utter the Why word. Not? You shall utter the words I don't always ha ha take pleasure in hearing. I can't utter those and, words unless you and, die. And, and so he shall say, You've died, mate. You ruined it. No, I haven't. You have, because you didn't die. Yeah, well, later. <laughs> Give it time. Uh. Anyway, on the next exciting episode of Star Wars Adventures, we shall explore more of Ice Mountain. See you guys then. Goodbye. See you around, guys.